Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about Christmas, um, and it's just going to be a really short one, but um, I hope you all enjoy it. So Matthew 2 verse 2 says, we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. And that's kind of talking about the um, the wise men that came from the east. Um, and I just think that, that kind of whole story is amazing, really. I mean, can you actually imagine that because of a story, a rumour, um, a promise that was made a really long time ago before they were actually born, that there were people, the wise men, that literally spent their entire lives on alert, just watching and waiting and hoping for Jesus' arrival their whole lives. Um, and as soon as they saw a new star, which they technically couldn't even guarantee that it meant what they thought it did, um, they just packed up and followed it with no idea where it was going to end up. And there's just so much mystery in that. And the fact that that was part of the story that God wove into the birth of Jesus. And I think there's something in that for all of us, just that mystery and that adventure and, and following after this promise. Um, but today we're going to talk about adoring Jesus and why we should. Um, one of my favourite Christmas songs is Come Let Us Adore Him. And there's verses on this, um, a few verses about this in the Bible, but um, the one that sticks out to me is in Psalm 95, verse 6, which says, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. And I guess before we dive in, we probably want to talk about what adoring actually means. Um, and I think one dictionary definition is that it means to love and respect someone deeply. And you might want to think as you're sort of listening to the rest of this, do I adore Jesus? You know, do I love him deeply? You know, it talks about um, one of the, the first commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. Like, do you actually adore him? So um, I'm going to give you five reasons why we should all adore Jesus, um, just like the, the wise men did and, and why we should kind of live in that life of abandonment and just, you know, watching and waiting and and just going on adventures because we love him the first reason is because he's good um so psalm 34 verse 8 says taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the one who takes refuge in him i mean he's just amazing <laughs> jesus literally and and you know everything about him just changes our whole lives and um, he makes everything better and he doesn't do anything wrong i mean how much how many people in your life can you actually say that about they're truly 100 percent good um, the second reason is because he loves you. And it actually says we love because he first loves us in First John 4, 19. So actually just realizing his love, how, you know, the fact that he loves us. And, and it talks about, I pray that you will know the height and the width and the depth of God's love. And you'll be transformed by that knowledge. And actually us knowing that he loves us transforms us and, and actually makes us want to love him. And the next one is, he is what life is all about. Um, you know, and, and actually, you know, we can only really live, well, this is what I would propose anyway, that we can only really live a full life um, by knowing and loving and living our lives in, in, with God. Um, it says, I have come, they may have life and have it to the full. You know, you know, obviously God created the whole world, created us, but the only way we can fully live life in a way that we're fully thriving is actually... Um, you know, living in, in partnership with him, living, acknowledging him and walking through life with him. That's the only way we actually get to experience the fullness of actually, you know, all that life has to offer. And the next one is the more that we look, the more that we grow and we evolve and we blossom as people. So really good verse on this says, we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory. That's 2 Corinthians 3.18. And then um, the next one is, what is the point without him? Literally, um, really good verse from the um, disciples. Um, they said, actually, you know, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. That's in John 6, verse 68. And it's just kind of amazing because there wasn't actually anything like very distinct about the disciples. There wasn't any ex explanation in the Bible that said, you know, oh, these guys were more likely to follow Jesus because X. They, uh, you know, in in all of the stories, it's really clear that they were like average Joes. There wasn't that much distinctive. They weren't kind of, you know, adventurous personalities. They had kind of very normal jobs. Um, and so it kind of makes it more universal. You know, the fact that they went on that adventure and as soon as he said, would you follow me? They just picked up everything. You know, that kind of, I guess, suggests to me that, you know, that's what we should all do. It's just the most basic and natural reaction <laughs> to Jesus um, and his invitation to follow him. And then the last reason 
is this is an uh, this is a freebie actually this is number six um is that um this isn't all there is you know we get to spend eternity with him um and that's why we should adore him because you know he he elevates everything in this life it's not just about the time that we're here on earth and a really good verse on this um says we who still alive and are left will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will be with the Lord forever and that's first Thessalonians 4 17. So um, I hope that's given you some food for thought and I just want to encourage you I know some of you might be you know struggling or you know maybe you don't listen to a lot of these and you're a bit discouraged about church because don't get to see people um i just want to encourage you you know get in touch with us give us feedback we literally have um preachers and talks for days <laughs> so if there's any questions that you have um or just anything just um you know make sure that you reach out to us okay have an amazing um next few days before christmas <laughs> <laughs>